Hi, I'm Ellie from crystallinks.com. Today is Saturday, July 6, 2019. Uh, I'm doing an extra little video today because of the two earthquakes that have happened in Ridgecrest, California over the last few days. As you know, I blog a lot about earth changes and what's happening to our planet in terms of flooding, um, earthquakes, wildfires, and all the things that we know if we follow the news that are accelerating exponentially on planet Earth. The clock is ticking. <laughs> and I, what I really want to say, seriously, I'm here with a friend, so we're just having a few laughs, but what I really wanted to say, and it's not really funny, is these two earthquakes will continue. They will, they're precursors to something bigger. You go to the Pacific Plate. The Pacific Plate, as you know, is broken, and everything on both sides of the Pacific Rim, all the way down to the tip of South America, all the way up to the Arctic, all the way on the other side of the Pacific Rim, they're all having major earthquakes. I read a woman from Chile recently who told me that they're the seismologists, they're just waiting for the big event to happen. If you live in California, you, you say, you know, the mind tends to rationalize and we tend to say things like, oh, the big one will happen, it'll happen one day, but not in my lifetime and whatever, and, or the scientists will fix the problem. The problem is we live in a simulation or a hologram, okay? And no one is really to blame for what's happening with climate change and natural disasters. Uh, it's, it's just part of the algorithm of what I call end times and closures, okay? It's all going to happen no matter what governments say, if you're waiting for aliens to come down and, and resolve the issues, whatever, whoever you're waiting for to fix this, this is a destiny thing. I'm not really a person who likes apocalyptic endings and things like that, but the hologram itself had a beginning, and you know that anything that had a beginning has an end. As the North American plate is being shaken, this is Southern California. It may be hit hard in Southern California, Nevada, going across, but it's also hitting the whole country. All of the plates are affected. There were some big earthquakes in Mexico, Mexico-California border, that they felt all the way across in the Atlantic region. Nothing at all is isolated. Everything is connected. I always watch California-Mexico border, not because of the 2012 Quetzalcoatl, Mexico is the place. It's, it's because this, these are certain hotspots, certain fractures within the holograms, grids itself, where these things are likely to happen. Now, one more thing, I mean, I'm sitting safely here in New York, but if you live along in the area called the New Madrid Fault Zone, and you have to look that up. You have to go into Google or Wikipedia, wherever you search things, YouTube, and look to see what happens there. They are going that fault line and parallel, every fault line has parallels, okay? That fault line and its parallels are feeling these ruptures. It's this, it's not my fault, it's not anybody's fault, and there's nothing you can do. Don't let people say, well, we should have done this or done that or prevented this or less plastic in the oceans. The planet itself and going bigger to the whole universe is being affected. The planet is affected in the oceans, in the air, on land, everywhere you go, people are feeling it. And you can be in denial, you can be in fear, you can be in whatever, you can just sit back and say whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Right, Angela? <laughs> Angela's helping me out with this and she happens to come from Mexico, which is not too far over the border from where all the Southern California shaking is going yeah. on. So there is a lot and it's all interconnected 
it's up to you to find what you need to find. Oh my God. And to, you know, do you go in fear? Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. That's how I live my life. At one point, which I call an end time point, when the whole simulation, the whole universe, all of everything collapses, there, all of the tectonic plates will collapse. It's not just the Pacific reason, it's the whole planet. It, it, I guess it came out of chaos, it wants to go back to chaos, it wants a dramatic ending. So whether you live in Mexico, or you come from Mexico, and oh my God, that takes me to the southern border crisis that's going on with the immigrants now. Angela's legal, <laughs> as yes, is her family. <laughs> She's nodding her head, yes. But that's another topic for another day. Right now, What's going on in California, just know that it is affecting the North American plate and other plates connected to it. There's no going back. It's been predicted by scientists, by metaphysicians, by the prophets of old, by the ancients, probably throw in a few aliens also. I believe with Quickie on the alien connection because Mexico and Mount Popo has all those UFOs that come out. Popo, how do you say Popo? Popocatepan. Okay, what she said. <laughs> okay, I'm not good at my uh, my uh, pronunciation, but there might be a UFO connection to it. If anything, I do not believe that aliens are creating all of this. I actually think that aliens are preventing a lot of these terrible natural disasters. But I don't know, that's not for me to know, I'm just speculating like everybody else. So on that note, please follow the earthquakes, even if they start to mellow out a little bit, know that the wildfires, the mudslides in California, and that goes all the way into Mexico, we're back to Mexico again, um, that Quetzalcoatl is not coming back. <laughs> He's not going to save us, right? Yeah. You could talk. yeah. No, really, there are no saviors. It is what it is before it fades to black. But just know that these earthquakes are part of a process. And it's not something that you can say it happened in the past. That's why this flood story is now. We're repeating that. It's not about the past mythologies. It's about a whole simulation, the whole universe, and it's imploding. And the only thing I can say is if you live in a zone where there is earthquake activity, and most people do, even in New York. Angela, do you know upstate New York we have we have fault zones? You know, we only get twos and threes and we don't pay attention. But if if you live in a fault zone, you could mm -hmm. do something called prepare a go bag. And a go bag means, they showed this on NBC the other day, it's your water and your yeah. flashlights, right? Yeah. Phone, uh, not, not yeah, cell phone. Yeah. Cell phone towers can go mm -hmm. down. You gotta have some cash. Yes. Because if, God forbid, the power grid goes down, how are you gonna use your credit card? You have to have some yes. cash put away. You, you just need to be prepared. That's all I can say. I hope that whoever is affected by the latest earthquakes oh finds safety and and nothing serious happens. I know that with today's quake there were people who were injured. Uh, there's fires that are a result of it, you know. Mm -hmm. All of this is all connected. Oh so my. on that note, keep an, uh, an eye on things. I'm sure I will be back with another earthquake report. Thank you very much for watching.